Oh wow, we haven't actually died yet. Okay. Well, let's go let's go confront this this giant horror monstrosity creature. I assume it's boss fight time. Just one more fountain to go. Let's go get the last one. Oh. How? Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. We've got these, like, freaky seaweed creatures. Oh. Might as well grab these. Get to that other one. <laughs> that guy's amazing looking. There we go. Okay. Oh. There is there is a reason for coming over here. I was like, there's gotta be there's gotta be something. And there is something. Is that it? Just those three guys? Really? I was expecting like a power moon or something. I am spoiled by this game. It's bad. Actually a problem. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see, do we... I haven't really figured this out. Kill me! I don't deserve to leave. Okay, so I, my assumption is... We get up here, we find our way to the last one. I do appreciate that the run-up does kind of involve more or less churning through tons of side objectives. Oh my god, are you serious? That is hilarious. <laughs> there is... Oh, there's a female Goomba there. Meaning we have to get a whole stack of Goombas up here. How are we going to do... Well, I guess they don't die from getting... um. They don't die from getting hit like in some other games. Ow. <laughs> I'm just shaking my controller and Mario's just going nuts. Okay. Well, there we go. I think the other thing, just to go along with my, like, the differences of uh, one Mario game for the versus the other, is in previous Mario, ga Mario games, it really does feel like um, uh, you have to, like, work for your shines or your, your stars or whatever. This game is much more of a, like, kind of quantity. And all of them are quality, but none of them feel long enough to really feel in-depth, maybe. Well, he's pissed off. We have stolen a soda for the last time. Great! Time to take back the sparkle water. I mean, he looks pretty pissed off. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting above this guy. There we go. Oh. I... I assume we've taken off the lava from his head. We need to... We need to... I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to hurt, uh, get to this guy. Because he's moving too fast, so I can't ground pound him. He's moving too fast for me to really spray him. Just keep jetting him. Oh yeah, you're right. 
Just keep jetting him. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to ground pound him or not. It didn't didn't quite seem like that was the right thing to do. Well, this is cool. Yeah, see, I wish I wish there were more boss fights that involved transformations. Because this is so much more compelling to me than um, than most regular Mario boss fights. Maybe just because it's kind of unique and interesting. Um, and the regular bo uh, Mario boss fights generally only rely on, like, using the same regular Mario attacks against something kind of new from a boss. Uh-oh. I gotta get some water. There we go, got it. Is that it? Is he done? Alright. Ew. Well, he died. Alright, we got the glasses half full. Really, I've already been here for 40 minutes. Really doesn't feel like that. My goodness, what a pretty sunset. It's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. But it doesn't seem like Bowser's in this kingdom anymore. Shall we head to the next? Well, first and foremost, oh, there's 52. Christ. I think maybe part of the reason why uh, I'm, I'm kind of grumping about the whole, like, mild amount of extreme variety. Uh, variety? Variety is not the word I want to use. I, I don't know what word I want to use for this, apart from... Can I not heal? Shoot. I was really hoping I'd be able to heal before this. Okay. Um, but there's so many stars, it feels like um, I'm farming for Koroks again. And that's actually kind of a weird feeling. Because I, I didn't mind the Koroks in Zelda because they weren't the main, the main focus of the game. Yeah, there's approximately 800 plus moons. And that's kind of why I'm a little bit, like, buggered about this. Because I really would have rather them gone with, like, 200. Make some of them harder to get, you know, multi-step processes or whatever. Um, because after a while, I start feeling kind of like a crazy person. I guess I don't actually have to get all of them necessarily oh. but there's kind of the the feeling of like if you don't you're missing out on like a whole huge section of the uh you're missing out on a whole huge section of the actual game now there is no real reason why i should be coming back up here is there except for did i not get the flag up here Oh. Well, there's something else we need to get. There's water here for a reason. There's probably... There's probably a moon in there. I wanted another sunshine. I really did. I, I think sunshine truly was kind of the best of the open world Mario games. Wall jump. No, this doesn't look like a spot where I can wall jump. I can wall jump there, but I don't think that's going to work. Okay, let's go back down to Rolling Canyon. 
Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just, uh... The idea of hundoing Odyssey is su such a, like, insane idea. People will do it, don't get me wrong. But that's... Oof. I don't know. Let's get over here. Damn it. Okay, you can definitely get it up there. I just have to be slightly less wasteful. I thought it was going to be okay, but it wasn't. Let's see. When I was talking about wanting Mario Metrovania, there's the Paper Mario series. Sort of. Also, well, oh yeah, you're right. There are the platforming Mario Metro Metroidvania things. Oops, I won. There we go. You know what? I bet, yeah, it's probably better that I approach from this. From this one. Because I can totally make it from here. Okay. I will admit, I'm not actually really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for around here. But it feels like there's supposed to be... I feel like there's got to be there's got to be some reason. I can yep. There is the reason. Unfortunately, I'm out of juice. Shoot. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, we got to try again. So there's there's definitely something up there. It's just zzz. so I'll, what I'll have to do is blast out the. Um, I'll have to blast out the. Uh, I'll have to blast out the. Uh, what am I doing? I don't know. I'm I'm, pr I'm trying to do the uh, leap jump. It ain't working so hot. Oh hey. There's some purple coins here. I think I saw them earlier, but I decided not. I uh, decided against trying to get them because it didn't work so hot. Okay, you could have a dried octopus race. You could. Funny idea for a challenge. I don't know if I'd do it, but um, the challenge would be you have to uh, you have to get through this entire course without dying. Three health, dried octopus. out of water. Okay. Ow. Oh, no! Shoot. Damn it. Okay, let's try again. <sighs> this is hard. You can go over it, you think. I don't think so. Water waste water breaking crates. You don't have to. All right. Everybody's saying I don't have to. It didn't look like something I could just go over. Oh yeah, I I can in fact get up here, and there we go. Wow! <laughs> Asshole supreme. 
Let's take a good opportunity here. Might as well look at uh, if there's anything else. Did I get that flag over there? I hope I did. That was a good fire. Oh, we have to wait for the critter to go. Okay, well, there we go. I wanted to get a nice view of the sea, so I climbed and climbed, and I got all the way up here. You made it too, so here, take this power moon I found. I wonder how I get down. Okay, so what do we do? We've got stuff over there. It looks like it's probably accessible via pie? No, wall jump. Okay. Grab this, take a look at this. I might start uh, kind of speeding up the pace a little bit and because part of it is, I can be super completionistic about this game, but now that I'm thinking about it, um... What? The treasure hidden in this room is so cunningly hidden, your eyes will be of no use. You must feel the ground beneath you with exquisite care. Good luck, friend. <laughs> what? Oh! I was supposed to use. I was supposed to use the um, the rumble feature on my controller, but I turned that off because I don't like rumble. So I just sniped it. I just sniped it. I feel proud of myself now. Do we know? Hello. Oh. If I go into the water, maybe they reset. Okay, so we have to open them. I thought I was supposed to kill them in a certain order, not open them. But there's our answer. Okay, cool. So we got a moon. Treasure map hidden in the uh, treasure trap hidden in the islet. Hell yeah. Okay, so. Guess we go back there. We've got a shop. We've got a shop. We also have beach volleyball, so that's something I can take a look at. I think I might have to stop for a food break soon. I actually haven't eaten dinner yet. So that kind of would do it. Okay, so we've also got this... Holy hell. How big is this place? There's a lot of, like, interesting nooks and... Yeah. There's a lot of interesting nooks and crannies all over the place, which I really appreciate. There we go. Power moon. Hell yeah. Pizza rolls for dinner. No. I actually don't generally keep around, like, microwavable anythings. I'm not much of a, um... I'm not much of a fan of, like, really processed food. Or, I am. Thing is, I'm kind of... Nope. Whatever this is, it's... Not something I can just... Okay, we should probably... Get some air before we start dying. There we go. Okay, what else we got? We got a whole mess of stuff over here. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just not a fan of microwave dinner stuff. My parents never really believed in it, so we only rarely, if ever, picked stuff like that up. 
Um, in ge generally, instead, my mother would actually just make nice home cooked meals. Uh, it wasn't until college, generally, that I even tried like microwavable food, and that was only because of desperation, because I was busy. And, you know, now that I'm a grown adult, my interest in, um, processed food is also pretty low because I have to pay for it all. Shit like Hungry Man is it's pricey. Like, you're paying, like, six, seven bucks for a meal. And it's not even as good as, like, McDonald's food, which is... I mean, at that point, why bother? I'd, I'd much rather just, uh, you know, suck it up and put the work forth. Uh, to actually getting something that, you know, I want to eat as opposed to kind of just be desperate and feed myself garbage. Like, I like pizza rolls. I like, uh, pizza, uh, bagel bites. But ultimately, it's also just one of those where it's like, but I can also just kind of make a pizza. Like, I, I, uh, I live across the street from a Whole Foods. Obviously, it's too, too late now. They closed an hour and a half ago. Um, but... If I'm ever feeling, like, really hungry and I don't want to feed myself, uh, I don't want to go through the work of feeding myself, all I have to do is just walk across the street and be like, Yo, uh, I want, I want a pizza. Unfortunately, that's what we did yesterday. So, can't really do that twice. I mean, I could. But I shouldn't. Okay, let's see if I can talk to the Sphinx as, as this. Go elsewhere. You mean, I'm going to have to talk to the Sphinx. Okay. Greetings, traveler. And your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What is the name of this land? Bubbleane. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't as uh, much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. Ah. But yeah, so ultimately when it comes down to it, I am actually uh, fairly responsible with what I eat, but sometimes I don't have the time to do so, you know. I guess this week specifically I've been busy, you know, getting content together, finishing other series and stuff like that. How many fountains did he seal? It's like five. No, it was four. Okay. He's mean. Uh, but so today, we didn't really make much for food, so I'm like, actually starving. <laughs> I think of all I've had is a bowl of cereal so far. And I think some candy. Okay, third one. Redfish. Oh, we get a Cheep Cheep. Cheep Cheep gets an attack. Okay. There's a room in this land that can only be entered if you're wearing the chosen clothing. What is it? Pirate outfit. No. Okay. Resort outfit. There we go. Correct, but did you really know that? This is a normal place to wear a swimsuit, right? And the pirate look is great. Even the undies. Wait, that's just a lucky guess, wasn't it? It was a lucky guess. You lucky guess, are you? All right, fine. Let's, last question. Why am I here? Wanted to swim. Incorrect. Wrong, Len Lover. Think harder next time. Okay. To ask questions? I. Okay. What? How? I. I am without speech. Here, take this and get out of my sight. There we go. I just got another one. I was hoping that he, like, tried swimming and he failed horribly. But the answer is no, he didn't. Okay, so. <sighs> I still, like, still have a whole hell of a lot of these things. Wow. Why? Blah. I'm trying to see where else we can go to. I guess what I should probably do is actually go find you. Oh. We got a flag down here. I'm surprised. I thought I already got this flag. It's so close to one of the other ones, too. Alright, whatever. 
Okay, so now we can get the whole sailor set. Okay, so we still can't afford everything. Yeah, I'm always going to have the hardest time getting that last thing. But that's okay. Wait, so does the Odyssey end up with like a billion stickers on it by the time of this? It probably does. Oh, that's going to look awful. Oh, well. Not like it really bugs me too much. So we're missing some doors, and there's like... There's got to be something to do with this run along water thing. Hmm. I'm just trying to see if there's anything like specific I should be going out of my way for. No, not really. Now, can I... I wonder. Can I hop in this? Okay, so that fires me back here. Reminds me... Aha! I knew there was something. There's always something. Hey, okay, golden rings, you know. Kinda? Not... Meh. The Tex Mex Explorer is going on an adventure through space and time to a place that I've maybe never been to or not. I have no idea. Oh, we're back here at Cascade Kingdom. Has this level changed at all? Doesn't really look like it. I'm still missing 11 here. Damn. Oh, it, there are some there are some minor changes. There's some creatures there, which I can't tell what they are off the top of my head. Oh, it's a store. Oh, you know what? Let's go shopping. I never actually did buy anything here. Oh, it's these guys, too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new things. It's me, it's me, your friend from, well, Sand Kingdom, but also Metro Kingdom. I'm the taxi guy. I mean, he's the taxi guy, but I'm the guy riding the taxi. Here, gift for you. Hell yeah. I'm up for a bite. Heck, some neat eats. Yummy grub. Major meals. Know a place like that? I know a place like that. We'll be there in a flash. Once I get the chance to pet one of those giant metal pooches they got in here, you are going to lose your hand, and then the rest of your body. None of this seems like a good idea. Yeah, so these guys weren't here earlier. Okay. Ooh! Ooh! Cave Mario! Okay, we're going to hold on to the rest of these. What's the other stuff we can get? What does Mario even look like right now? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is magic. Okay, so we can get... Oh, there's like nothing to buy on this side. That, oh, that sucks. Okay, so I'm not, I will admit, I'm not a big fan of the the leopard skin outfit, whatever. But I'm a pretty big fan of that hat. It's like, damn. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go... Change into something. <sighs> yeah, I'm really tired. Combination of being sick, having a ton of work to do. And then binging the hell out of Stranger Things is definitely, uh, definitely kind of messed with my, my overall, like, energy levels this week. Luckily, you know, I've got stuff like this that I can kind of fall back on just to give me something to constantly do. 
Waterfall behind the waterfall. I think I already got the thing behind the waterfall. Maybe I didn't. It doesn't matter. I'll come back. Like, I know, guys, but it's also kind of one of those where it's not like, it's not super important that I get it now. Okay, so there might be some more stuff to look at here, maybe? Ow. Can I get up onto the edge? Okay, cool. Is there anything on the... Nope, well... This decision was stolen from me. You know, it doesn't look like there's anything there. Oh, that's a good point. Ground pound the cork. I didn't even think about that. That's a good... That's a good idea. Okay, uh... This is probably the easiest one to get back to. Uh-oh. Shit. Well, at least we've got this guy right here to hurt me. <laughs> okay, so let's... Actually, can I just take the squid with me? No, okay. So I cannot actually take the, the squid alongside. Okay, so... Yeah, nope. Ground Pound of Cork does nothing. Okay, what else we got? Anything in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, you know what? I probably milked this place enough. I'll come back later. I mean, that's kind of one of the nice parts. I really don't have to finish this place off that fast. There's like a whole other section to this area, but no, it doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. Yeah, let's just get out of here. I I could keep being like super collectathony, but I I don't care.